This tutorial illustrates how to create a dynamic Cassidy item design. First, using the Adobe InDesign standard feature set, create your design exactly like you would do for a manual production type. In this example, I'm setting up a number of text boxes and a single image box. For convenience, I'm placing a small amount of text within the text boxes, just to make sure that it's very visual and easy to apply paragraph styles in a moment. The text box at the bottom, I decide, should include two columns. This is done by standard Adobe InDesign features. Now I'm almost done with the basic text and image box setup, and I can start to apply paragraph styles. It is structured and convenient to work with Adobe InDesign paragraph and character styles, but this is not a must for Cassidy Extreme or Cassidy Live Merge. The Cassidy item design allows even local character formatting. Now that I have the overall design in place, I can start to apply Cassidy features for making the design dynamic and ready for automation. This is simply done by either using the Cassidy Live Merge or the Cassidy Extreme palette. In this list view, I'm able to see all the header fields from my data source. When I click them in the list, they're automatically applying to the design. For making image boxes dynamic, I can either leave the image box empty or place an image simply for positioning reasons. When I place a dummy image, it's very easy to use the Cassidy Live Merge or the Cassidy Extreme Palette features for scaling the image, what we call first scale or second scale. Exactly like with text boxes, when I click the image box, I can select from the list the corresponding image field in the data source. Finally, all I need to do is select all the Adobe InDesign objects I wish to include in my Cassidy item design and drag and drop these objects into either of the palettes, the Cassidy Extreme palette or the Cassidy Live Merge palette. After naming the Cassidy item design, I can immediately start to drag and drop it into my layout. Variable content from my data source is instantly recognized and I can change designs, I can change and update variable content. In this example, I had a number of Cassidy item designs prepared in advance, and our newly created demo design is now adding to the selection. The designs can now be combined in full-scale production with Cassidy Live Merge and Cassidy Extreme. This concludes the tutorial how to create Cassidy item designs.